In this module of DNA Center Assurance and Automation Stage 1 training, we will discuss how to use demos and not PowerPoint slides to introduce software capabilities and benefits. Now, by the end of this module, you will have reviewed an introduction of video and click-through demo assets, highlighting solution capabilities, and use these assets to introduce and demonstrate capability use cases without PowerPoint slides. Now, in the previous module, we went through a few use cases for DNA assurance and automation. There are, in fact, several more that may be interesting for your customer. Now, by going to dnac.cisco.com, an internal site, and clicking on the Solutions tab at the top, you can find those in several more use cases. Now, for each, you'll find a video and demo assets to acclimate you to the solution. For example, if you drill into the client onboarding solution, you will find a short video that will describe exactly the use case. Included it is a description that you can use in emails, RFP responses, and other written communication. Finally, you will find a link to an easy to use click-through demo system. Now you can also find the click-through demos under the demo tab at dnac.cisco.com. Now for this module, let's walk through one of these click-through demos. Please note that each demo has a built-in script and cannot deviate from each use case that's being demonstrated. So let's go through a simple demo. Here's the situation. Client onboarding is slow, a really difficult problem to solve. Now we start by going to dnac.cisco.com. If you are outside of the Cisco network, don't forget you'll need to VPN in as this is an internal only website. I could go to the demos tab, but I'm gonna to go to solutions because I wanna make sure that the solution that I'm using is exactly what my customer is asking for. I'm gonna start with client onboarding. So I go to client onboarding and here I see the video and the text that I can use. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch the demo. Super easy, just click on start the demo. Here we're presented with a DNA Center Assurance Dashboard. Here we can see a lot of really great information about what's going on. But we are trying to solve a problem. A customer, a client, a user has told us that they have had some issues getting on the network. Now, as it turns out, they could get on the network, but they're frustrated because it takes too long. And we can actually see that right here, that over the last 30 minutes, it's taken more than 10 seconds for some users to get on the network. And I can understand how that would be frustratingly slow. So if I click into details, I can see that 37% of the attempts of accessing the network in the last 30 minutes have taken more than 10 seconds. Now I know that's bad because there's some information over here that's in the pink area. So pink is bad or red is bad. So I wanna dig into that. So I see that there's a device that has an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. And I can see that DNA Center Assurance has actually correlated a lot of different elements, data elements, and identified an issue. Wireless client took a long time to connect. That's exactly what we're trying to, to resolve. So let's click into that and we get a nice plain English description. This client is taking longer than expected time to connect to the Corp SSID to an excessive time getting an IP address. Onboarding took 58.3 seconds when it's expected to take less than 10 seconds. We can see that there's a failure event over here. So let's drill into that. We can see that the association started correctly. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And we can see that there was a DHCP discover that's here in red. Let's scroll over to take a look at the information associated with that element, that item. We can see average onboarding times. We can see that there's several t instances when it took an extra amount of time to get a DHCP address. We can see that it impacted at least these two client devices. Now let's go ahead and close this view. One of the things that we can do is actually do a sensor test. 
what the client doesn't doesn't know is that I have distributed sensors throughout my environment that are constantly testing the application connectivity. I'm going to scroll down and look at that. I have an active sensor that actually goes through and tests out elements of the network. What it does is it pretends it's a client device and it tries to access the network. And then it tries to access a DNS uh, server by doing a DNS test. It tries to reach my application server and then finally attempts to test my dashboard server. And I can see over time if any of these tests have failed. So we actually see that there are some test failures and we can also see that there's some areas when it took an extra amount of time to complete these testing scenarios. Now, if I scroll down, I can see a widget here for DHCP addressing, and there are several times, several instances when it took an extra amount of time. If I'm really interested, I could actually go in and see the detail associated with that and see how long exactly it took to connect to the network. And I can run uh, sensor tests ad hoc, or I can have them run all of the time and constantly check my network. This is a great way to show the power, the impact that DNA assurance has on a problem that's one of the most frustrating problems to troubleshoot. This ends the intro demos module. In the next module, we'll look at business discovery and insights.